Pretty erotic last night with that wide one. 14. Because I guess he had an opportunity because That's a better shot by Hewitt. 13 teaching. Very rare, his winners from the back of the court. Taken nice and early here by Hewitt. His length was excellent. Obviously, he did well to get the ball as deep as he did, but it just wasn't quite as aggressive enough. And Hewitt. Yes, got him. There is the break. I thought it was coming. You and you and well, finally, we see Hewitt showing some of that emotion. Beautifully completed with his 12th ace by the match. His fiance seems pretty pleased, so does his coach. An hour and 30. from Agassi again he was in his favorite position just to the left of center just behind the baseline and therefore he was able to dominate
that was simple. With that change of direction, Agassi not chasing that ball down, so obviously trying to conserve his energy, realizing that the chances of winning that rally were pretty slight. Well, his advances to the net today have been made exactly. Seen Hewitt come from that much in the match at all. That's the first long. time in this deciding set, and just six times in total. He wants it. The anticipation was super. He picked the fact that he was going to serve out of it, and he was ready and able to take advantage of it. Well, what an unfortunate end, the double fault. Hewitt's fifth today. And an overjoyed Agassi will salute the crowd. What a moment in his restored career. And now it's my pleasure to give the Masters Series Waterford Trophy, Dondre Agassi, and $400,000 for winning today. But Andre joins only two other gentlemen to have won this tournament three times. That is really saying something. Andre, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I love you too. Uh, <laughs> no, you the man. Uh, first, I just want to thank Leighton for those kind words. Uh, you know, there are a few guys out here that really inspire you to push yourself to get better, and you've been one of those uh, for me for the last number of years, and uh, thanks for that. Uh, it's been a bit of a difficult year for me. It started well, but you know, it's been a bit of a struggle, and I can't tell you what, uh, how many doubts I came to this week with. And you know, coming out here in the court and playing such uh, great competitors, and just to barely get through so many of them, it just feels like a dream for me this week. And I want to say a special, a special, uh, special thank you to my coach, Darren. Darren, you believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself, man. And I won't forget that. Thank you. You, your doubts get exposed out here, and uh, you've uh, uh, you really helped me to uh, achieve so many dreams. So thank you for that, Darren. And I also want to say a special thank you to Paul Flory for running such a great event. He's been so good to me over the years, and um, like Leighton said, I'm just going to reiterate it: the players love coming here because of the job you do, and and because of you fans. You guys are as enthusiastic as.
You guys are truly some of the greatest fans to play in front of. It's a treat for all of us players, and thank you for your support of this game and your love of this game. And, <laughs> and one last thing, as great and special as week has been, uh, it's going to pale in comparison to how it feels when I walk through my home tonight and see my family. So thank you very much, and I'll be home soon. He's proved that he can this week, and that's a tremendous boost for not only him, but tennis in general. So it's nice to see such a great champion still finding a way to win. And that shield, 17 of them now. He has no man has more. And he'll be putting that on the mantelpiece or wherever he keeps them beside the others with equal pride, perhaps even more pride, because it's never easy to come back when you've sunk a little bit to restore your career, having hit such heights in the past, never an easy thing to do. He's done it 